Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to this week's video. So today, as you saw from the title of our video, we have another Ferris Pool Press goodie session. I busted out my folding table and I am at my window in my bedroom trying to get what little sunlight I can get in my dark cave of a home because you know when there's ferris wheel press there is sparkle and sparkle calls out sun before we begin ferris wheel press is not sponsoring this video i am one of their ambassadors so they did send me all of these inks for free and you can get yourself 10 percent off on any order with the code bbishku art but that all of the way let's get started so in this package it came four inks so these tiny ones you probably know by now if you've been following my ferris wheel press adventures for a while it's from their alice in Wonder uh, wonderland collection so it's queen and castle but we're going to leave that for last because i find these very exciting so i'm going to leave that for last just let just let the good things to last so these three inks are in celebration of the 10th anniversary of paper tree is a paper shop like origami shop so that the that's why it has like little kanjis they do tend to make these collaborations with uh, japanese inspired or japanese stationery so we sometimes get little kanjis i'm very excited for this so i'm going to go yeah let's just start with the pink that we have here why not so the pink one is called shidori cherry blossom and it is a sparkle ink, of course. Yeah, the box is super stunning with lots of cherry blossoms, little duckies. I have a little, one of those little things you can write on the lake. It's a super stunning box and a swan. Oh, it's like a moose is riding the swan. I, I, li I just like enjoying their boxes. Just really love it. Okay, so this ink looking at the little spiel that they have it's a rose gold shimmer and it is characteristic characteristic character characters and apparently the keywords that are go with this ink is inspiring scintillating rosy and joyous i am extremely excited to see how it looks let me just get it out because it's super pretty Ooh, okay oh gosh it's extremely sparkly. I just see more rose gold in ink. This to me is just a bottle of rose gold glitter. That's very pretty. I'll insert some clips on close up on my phone because I, I don't know, my camera is not the best. <laughs> so my phone tends to pick up these glitters way better and more efficiently. But damn, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. I cannot wait to swatch these. So next up we have Dearest Navy, I assume this has to do with writing letters to your dearest ones who have lots of letter seals and letters and just it seems like a very nostalgic type of ink. Let me see the spiel. Are you sparkly? This one is not sparkly, does not have the little star over here. Okay, so I found the little spiel I usually read out. I will read out the other one for the Shidori in a second, but for this one it was mostly inspired the design was mostly inspired in hand illustrated stamps inspired by vintage stamps for important years in paper tree history including the shop opening and the founding of their company and also the founders love for culture of handwriting notes with calligraphy inspired by personal theme if i was correct it's the inspired by like handwritten notes and yeah the box is super pretty as well as always i just I take my time unboxing these because I just like seeing how they look. The box is, the box is part of the experience with Ferris Wheel Press, definitely. So let's take a look. I believe this is like, oh, oh, we have a spiel. Oh, uh oh, I have a problem. I thought this was part of the design. <laughs> uh oh, I hadn't opened these yet, so I didn't know this happened. Oops. Okay, it doesn't seem like it was a lot. Okay, we had a little accident, but honestly, the box looks pretty. <laughs> so yeah, you can see a little bit of a preview of what the box is going to be. The ink. Yeah, I, just just a little bit on the side. I think it's just a little mild spillage. They usually arrive fine. And that's not the worst spillage I've had with packaging, believe it or not. So yeah, seems like a very nice and cozy blue. I quite enjoy colors like this. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. Try not <laughs> spill it. The keywords for this one are mature, rich, deep, and nostalgic, which I think the whole collection kinda is kinda hinting on the nostalgic. I think that's a mood that we're seeing here. We have a glimmering grayish. Grayish. Is it like a combination of bra uh, beige and gray? I don't know, but we have a very very dapper and a smart looking tiger with the little half moon glasses no not half moon they just look like normal glasses but he's giving dumbledore vibes we have a little very shimmering cat over there oh tons of inks on this little display case right here oh we have more kitties we have a cat here balancing an ink on its little nose another kitty and yeah a little storefront very pretty and this one is indeed a sparkling ink you can see right here interesting name grayish is a word that i've never heard before fired by the very walls of paper tree shop and its signature grayish let the airplane please pass so yeah it's the interior grayish of the shop so maybe it is a gray and a beige magnificent tiger is here to help you make the perfect stationary selection representing the owner who was born in the year the tiger an adorable owl perches on the corner of a mulberry leaf clutched in its beak. Oh, where is the, the owl? Oh, I thought this was a little cat with the... <laughs> I, this is the owl. I thought it was a cat with like a scarf on its neck. Which... It's an honest mistake. First we'll press animals to explore the shop. The mischievous patch the cat lounges across the shop shelves and the adorable canadian martin proudly carries the purchase of a brush fountain pen and that mr black bear is working on the stock room oh, mr. oh yeah we have a little black bear i didn't see him we have a little black bear here in the background yeah i i re oh here is the kitty with the brush fountain pen oh my gosh that's why i enjoy reading these i have noticed this guy it wasn't shiny, so I wasn't noticing him. So the keywords for this one are airy, warm, and modern. This is a warm gray with gold shimmer. I don't know how I'm going to use warm grays, but there was there was this ink that was April Shower that was a gray that I was just like, how am I gonna use you? And it's actually one of my favorites. Oh, okay, here's the gold. <laughs> the gold was all on the other side. Here it is. It's fading now because... I'm moving the ink and this is very fine glitter, but you can definitely see the glitter going around. Again, I'll show you close-ups. Okay, now finally, for the little tiny jar from the Alice in Wonderland collection, we have Queen and Castle. Again, the packaging is very mirror-like. It's just... my camera never knows quite how to film it. Yeah, but you can definitely see what... I think it's like Humpty Dumpty-ish. I'm a bit rusty on my Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if Humpty Dumpty was there. Little door. And the queen. The queen is right there. If I can show you her. I think you can see the queen. So this one is a yellow green. Does not have a sheen. Shimmer is rose gold and shading high. The first edition with the three uh, colors which was red yellow no red blue and green were, were high sheen but no shading and everything else from that has been with high shading and no sheen so this one is quite interesting a yellow green we'll see you know my feelings with green but yellow green i'm open to it you can also this is something i haven't been able to try yet but on the ferris wheel press site you do you are able to experience like some of these illustrations in VR. I don't have a VR set, so I haven't been able to do it. But that's definitely something if you want to check it out. Something I would like to do if I had a VR set. Okay, this one is in there. At least I know it's safe. <laughs> I want you to come out. Come out. I want to see you. I want to see how you are. I've been trying my best not to look at swatches online of how the inks are. Okay, here we go. Ooh, hello. What was the rose gold as well? 
Okay, so we have rose gold shimmer and warm gold shimmer. I'm curious to see how the yellow green translates. But yeah, these are the tiny jars that come with the fairy tales collection. And they are just the most adorable, cute little thing. I love these little jars. They are just the cutest. I cannot deal with them. Like I have small hands and they fit on the palm of my hand. It's just so cute. I cannot wait. Ooh, here it is all the glitter. So nice. Here's kind of our little collection so far. I am going to do some close-ups so you guys can see the glitter. Then we are going to go for one of my favorite parts, which is swatching all of these. So I'll see you in a second. gotten my little sketchbook that I enjoy doing these swatches the last Paris Press video is this one here so if you haven't seen that do check it out and yeah we have a very similar vibe in that it's a new collection and a fairy tales ink so let's do the same vibe that we do a little three swatches with watered down ink and then a full-on page of the fairy tales i started with the pink so let's do pink blue and gray let's try and do that color combo shake it i do have a brush for each ink and two jars of water so there are no mixtures it is looking super lovely i do enjoy it i barely Ooh, it's doing some interesting things when I shake it but I don't think I can capture it very pretty I don't know I'm really curious to see and the Sun is starting to go down on me don't you dare uh, I I love winter but that's the issue of needing to film in winter because it just goes away Let's see. Ooh, okay it's very soft, extremely soft. I'm not complaining, mind you. Oh, I need to go get something for my second camera to rest on. Give me a second. There we go. You can see the tripod leg, but please don't mind that. Okay, so the color so far is a very soft pink and the glitter is, is very subtle so far i don't know if it's because it's a rose gold so on rose it's more subtle but i have learned that ooh, the brush is looking fine though i have learned that with ferris wheel press the glitter sometimes only shines more when it's dry and i want to show you how the pretty the brush is aha the glitter <laughs> so it definitely has potential so i'm going to do a wet stripe the color is very pretty on the wet yeah it's definitely on the softer side which I do enjoy and I think will make for a very nice illustration which mind you I have no idea what's going to be <laughs> some collections I have an idea straight away this one not yet to be honest this is actually the first time I'm looking at them I Try my best not to look at them before I start <laughs> swatching them. So let's do the blue. The blue no doesn't really need to shake, but I've I've gotten used to shaking them because of so many shimmers lately. I'm quite excited for the blue to be honest. Ooh. Okay, I actually like that a lot. Oh, 
should, wait wait I should be doing just a pure one and then water down I'm just curious to see how this one is watered down I like that quite a lot actually it seems quite dark Ooh. I like these tones they sometimes make these type of tones and yeah I do enjoy the more moody blues Ooh, okay no okay never mind that's pretty a very pretty I do enjoy this blue a lot and yeah let's see what this grayish is all about this one do need to shake okay hmm it's interesting the glitter is definitely there it doesn't really alter the okay with a packet it does alter the color a tiny bit okay I'm interested curious even <laughs> let's, let me do we have space so let's do a big one over here at the bottom do just a gigantic rectangle this could be helpful I think yeah this could be a useful useful ink definitely oh actually I don't know I thinking like doing a sort of monotone illustration with this one might be quite pretty because I think especially if you're going for like stormy I don't know stormy moody type of vibes that's the vibe that I'm getting and I'm enjoying it let me drop a little do 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 here or there so we have our paper tree collection so far so far a very nice not my most striking collection ever they definitely have some that really strike me this one is just a very soft the other one was very moody the last one the finer things collection was just very moody this one just screams soft even though the navy is quite dark um when it's watered down it's doing stunning things over here so yeah definitely definitely an interesting collection but i will judge it more once it's dry so let's see and now let's go go for our little Queen Castle, Queen at Castle, Queen and Castle, not at. So we're going to do the same. I'm going to do a small, oh, it's tightly there. I'm gonna do a small stripe and then go all out with water. Oh, ooh. Okay, well, okay. You know what? <laughs> okay, this is my favorite. Uh, just because this is the type of green that I usually mix when working with watercolors so this one instantly has me because it's the color that I tend to use most of the times when I use green I usually call it like a dry green because that's what we say in Portuguese like verde seco but oof, I like you I don't usually go for this type of stuff but yeah this definitely wins the cake for me because it's my <laughs> my green of choice actually i think this i can i can finally show you what my favorite type of green is <laughs> because yeah i definitely don't enjoy like emerald greens or stuff like that so this type of green i dig i don't know why i just i like greens that have more yellow rather than blue in them and this one definitely definitely has that and i quite enjoy it it's uh, very pretty Super pretty. Not what I would expect when Queen and Castle. Not sure what I was expecting at all, to be honest. But I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Actually, I think it's my favorite from the four inks that we got today, actually. <laughs> Which might surprise you. I, And it's also surprising me as well. Ooh, yes, I like this one a lot. A lot, a lot, actually. Ooh, just look at that. Oh, okay. A very, very nice. I like this. Let's take a little closer look. The navy is doing some stunning things over there. I love this little edge here. Super pretty. 
warm gray like the grayish again the shimmer is there but once again they are more powerful when they are dry and the shidori is it's nice and soft it is a very pretty color but i don't know why i love this one <laughs> it's so pretty so this is very wet i'm going to let it dry and we're just going to take a final look and yeah that'll be it <laughs> it's dry but i had a little accident while drying it i was impatient i used my heat gun and yeah the green color got all over i don't know if it's because it's not very sunny but so far the glitter is very very subtle especially on the pink i'll try my best to film it and show it afterwards the one on the grayish is a bit more noticeable if i can show you here it is a bit more noticeable and the one on the queen and castle is also a bit more subtle ish i don't know if it's just because it's not really sunny at my house this is it for our little swatching session for this collection of the paper tree and our which i believe is like our seventh or almost eighth already i have to check editing Bia will post it right in here the number of this ink for the fairy tales collection already they've been coming up with them left and right honestly it's been a journey and i think i kind of want to do a painting with all of them when they eventually decide they're done thoughts this collection so far quite nice to be honest it it's very soft and i can definitely see very very nice ways to use these inks together they look very nice and soft and nostalgic i definitely want to create something that has that feeling and the queen at castle surprised me being my favorite ink of this entire swatching session i think second i don't know i like these sort of the same i think honestly my heart is towards the dearest navy just because i'm a sucker for a more blue more moody ink blue inks that just separate in this way so i think that's why i'm going towards that one i hope you had fun in this video i think in my part it was definitely a bit more chaotic than my usually <laughs> uh, swatching videos i definitely felt a bit more chaotic but it's been a week i hope you had fun in this video and that you enjoyed it do let me know which of these inks was your favorite again i'm leaning towards the queen of castle but in this collection maybe the dearest uh, even though the pink is very nice and soft, the Dearest Navy does have a punch that I do enjoy. Don't forget that you can use my code BBISCOART to save up 10% off your next phrase will press order. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which of these is your favorite ink. Again, thank you so much for watching. You are the best and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!